mackerel fishing and processing. The sea welcomes the fisherman with opening her heart to make an earning through fishing. But here, today what you're going to watch is not similar to other videos. But this is something different because the fishing is an integration of classical techniques with modern technology, with some giant nets that in a first look expounds that these nets will leave no fish in the seas. With the demonstration of the admin, the giant nets are thrown on the heart of the seas that are further swallowed by the sea. The overall process runs automated systems. The workers dress up and get themselves ready for their job. The net, when it flashed on the heart of the sea, is further dragged by the giant ship. As the net is revolved by the machinery, the fish that get captured are pulled back into the ship. The fish caught by the net is a score, meaning they're a very large number. The ship is embedded with a modern computerized system monitoring each operation that is concerned with the net. Consequently, when the net is pulled into the ship, the fish caught are escalated in the ship. These fish are then organized by the workers with buckets. Mackerel is a common name applied to several different species of pelagic fish, mostly from the family Scombridae. They are found in both temperate and tropical seas, mostly living along the coast or offshore in the oceanic environment. Mackerel species typically have vertical stripes on their backs and deeply forked tails. Many are restricted in their distribution ranges and live in separate populations or fish stocks based on geography. Some stocks migrate in large schools along the coast to suitable spawning grounds, where they spawn in fairly shallow waters. After spawning, they return the way they came in smaller schools to suitable feeding grounds, often near an area of upwelling. From there, they may move offshore into deeper waters and spend the winter in relative inactivity. Other stocks migrate across oceans. Smaller mackerel are forage fish for larger predators, including larger mackerel and Atlantic cod. Flocks of seabirds, whales, dolphins, sharks, and schools of larger fish such as tuna and marlin follow mackerel schools and attack them in sophisticated and cooperative ways. Mackerel flesh is high in omega-3 oils and is intensively harvested by humans. In 2009, over 5 million tons were landed by commercial fishermen. Sport fishermen value the fighting abilities of the king mackerel. Well, then these fish are sent to various sections with different kinds of procedures where the excess water that comes with the fish are drained back into the sea from the holes that are designed in the ship. Coming back to fish, the fish are dried and their fins and tails are cut by several types of machinery.
Similarly, the intermediate fish are now inspected by the quality inspector, and after his approval, the fish are frozen with each other in a manner forming a square block and are then passed toward the plastic coating section. Now, the same coating process is carried with each of the formed blocks. The blocks of fish are made with a predetermined section that is measured with great accuracy, and the supply of these structures is carried manually with the assistance of two workers. Ultimately, these blocks are then packed into various packaging with keeping given the market demands. The production of these special types of meat is done at a higher level. These fish are mostly admired by the residents of Japan, who consume more mackerel fish in 2019 than by the residents of other countries. But people residing in Asia also prefer to consume these fish, but not to an extent that the Japanese have. Keep watching! Canned Fish Processing This escalator has made the job of these workers much easier. The machines take the fish and escalate them to each worker who picks, drags them toward the packaging, and send them a bit ahead. The boxes are then automatically filled by the machines. Don't forget to hit that red subscribe button if you want to watch similar videos or you're obsessed with farm and technology related videos. Give a thumbs up to this video so that we can know that you're supporting us and valuing our efforts.